everyone. Hang on while I try to make Petri molds out of the resin art alcohol ink. How well does it take? How well does it go through? We will find out together. Hang on tight. Subscribe and hit that bell. Let's have some fun. Later. Hey everyone. So I had a little bit of resin left over and I thought I would do another project. So I made some alcohol inks with resin art by putting a little bit of the pigment in with some alcohol into these little bottles here. And did an alcohol painting and it turned out rather well. So if you do decide to use these, they do um, separate rather quickly, give them a good shake. And also if you do uh, a painting with them, make sure that you seal it off with some type of UV, UV spray. And if you're gonna resin it afterwards, make sure it's not a gloss spray. That's all taken care of on that. So what I thought I would do is, you know the um, technique where you take some resin and use the pinata inks and you make drips in with the, the inks and then you follow it through with the white ink and it pushes the alcohol into the resin deeper and it makes these really interesting patterns. Well, I thought I'd give it a try and see if these will do the same thing. So I've got two of these set up here and what I thought I would do is one of them do this type of uh, ink, the resin art ink, um, and follow through with the pinata white to, um, to back it up to push it down. And on the second one, I thought I would do just these guys with no white and see what happens. I mean, I'm kind of just explain, uh, exploring and I don't know. And the shimmer that these guys put off um, I'm wondering how that will affect how they move around in the resin. Will it leave these little trickles of like glitter joy bits or, you know, will it all just stay on the, stay on the surface and not sink down? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to find out. So here we go. And I've got a little bowl here because I've got some pinata ink in a large container. So I'm gonna put some of this into a bowl and use uh, a little pipette to pick it up so that I can apply it where I want to. So let me squirt out a little bit into the bowl real quick so I can be ready. probably put a little bit too much already okay now another thing I want to talk about is I've already put in some resin in here and I've used the the stone coat art coat like I did for my flood piece um, and you can already see how there's some white bits on top but they're not actually white bits it's bubbles so we need to be careful with the bubbles the other part is too is you notice how the edges come down and it's a sharp 90 degree turn on that point, resin sometimes has a hard time getting into those crevices. So what I like to do, let's just pretend this is the bottom here and this is the edge. Um, go in with a, a popsicle stick or even like the edge of the skewer and you just glide along the edge here and make sure the resin will follow you. So you go in here and just kinda go around the corners. Otherwise, if you get a bubble right in that corner there, when you pop this disc out, those bubbles actually are the reverse when they're dry. And so it leaves this little open area and it has a sharp edge to it. So that's not very pleasant. All right, I know I moved stuff, so I wanted to get readjusted here before I got started. So before I take all these bubbles out, I figured I'd go ahead and do that. So as you see, I just took a basic popsicle stick and I'm just running it along the edges here, making sure I got good contact with corners. I do it a couple of times. And that helps out. I've done one, I've had one before that it does have that bubble in there and it is sharp. When they get fully cured to the point where they're hard, meaning the resin's hard, um, 
it'll hold that shape pretty well and you know I don't want anything that I create to cause harm I don't know why I wiped that off there but I did oh well I will have a little ledge there that I'm gonna have to clip off or sand off but it's okay all right so I've got my torch and I'm gonna just torch these bubbles out now these particular molds here they're very common on Amazon but if you do torch them just be fast about it because they don't really like a whole lot of heat and what ends up happening is when you pop these things out part of the mold will come off with your resin and then you have to work at it and peel it off and stuff there's some tips about uh, popping this whole thing into the freezer for like a couple minutes just a couple minutes uh, and it gets this silicone nice and cold and it apparently helps pull it apart um, I have had them come off before where they separate out and that's not a lot of fun but it is what happens and some more bubbles came out so I'm gonna this has been sitting here for a while so that I can do this probably saw that let's see and oh wait a minute that might be a hair if you're gonna do your molds any thicker um, pour them work on the bubbles pretty good and then wait for a little bit hit it again with some uh, heat get rid of the bubbles the second time and then add more resin to it so that way you're working in sections as far as your resin, if you have to go thick the first first time. Okay. So the easiest one, let's see, I've got several pinks here and some purples and then a, a nice plum color here. And then there's even a gold and a real nice bright pink. Hopefully it keeps the bright pink. That would be good. I'm gonna go too many colors because then it gets too busy. So let's see how we're gonna do this here. I don't know. I'm just gonna go for it. So this one that I'm gonna start off with is just gonna have this resin art pigments only. And the dots come out mighty small out of these little dropper. And I like that a lot. I'm doing a couple of them on the inside. All right. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's even a little bit of shimmer on the surface. So I'm wondering how it's gonna behave with the shimmer. We'll have to see. And I'll put the colors at the end of the video when I'm done. So that you could pick and choose if you like a particular color. And there also will be links in the description too. Let's see, where do I want to do with these? I don't have to use all the colors, but I kind of want to. I have a feeling these aren't gonna sink very far. But when you're using the pinata inks, the alcohol inks, to do this technique, the gold will always stay on the surface. A little bit goes down, but you almost always see a big old cloud of gold on the top. So I'm wondering how this will, gosh, 
It's like I'm dropping little fireworks of gold in here. That's kind of fun. You know what? I'm going to see if I can zoom in on that area right there. Excuse me for a second as I tilt. Maybe back this up a hair. You see that shimmer there? It looks like it's on the little bitty fireworks. We're going to go out just a little. Okay. I'm using my tripod my daddy gave me when I graduated from high school. It's been around with me for a long time. I'm going to add a little bit more gold because that was just kind of fun. See how it's going off like it's little, little bitty fireworks. Okay, where's that purple I started with? Definitely doing some reactions, so that's fun. Like I said, this one, this side over here, I'm going to do without the white, and I'm going to try and do something similar, meaning the amount of ink that I apply on this side, but with the white alcohol ink from Pinata to help push the ink down. All right. Of course, I just did my hands, and I realize I'm over here, and I'm focused on that here. So that looks really pretty. You see all that's going on there? It's like little explosions of color. All right, let me move you over to the other one. So, excuse me. Hey, Zozo, how you doing? I'll be my Labrador, she's my shadow. Now you're probably gonna see these colors a little bit easier because I'll be following through with some white behind them. So I'm going to try and do a similar pattern, just like going around a circle. It's not going to be identical because didn't really lay out a plan. I'm going to do a little bit more color. Man, I really hope it keeps that luster. Where's that other pink? There it is. almost feel like they're a little bit on the transparent side which is why I'm doing two layers of inks before I do dots that's what my instincts tell me to do so I'm just going to do a little drop of white I'm gonna do it on the pink first and then follow through with the purple on the second so here's how this works if it works, it'll push the color into the resin and it'll make these little tentacles of color. It gets really interesting. If it doesn't work, it stays on the surface. Now I've tried other mediums before and it didn't work and so all the ink stayed on the surface and didn't really, basically, it didn't really dry. So it's either going to work or not going to work. All right. make the middle of this just gold see what happens there maybe a little bit of golden hot pink yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 
not sure where my dots are, so. You can probably see by the consistency of this how much different the alcohol is with the resin art compared to the white pinata ink. Much thicker. All right. So we'll do some hot pink in the middle just because it's fun. Move that puppy down. And I'm gonna hit some gold in there. Sure, if I got enough white, I may have to pour some more white out. All right, maybe a hurry up and wait thing, but I wanted to hurry up so I could see. All right, I'm gonna bring you in for a closer look. Not sure how much more info you're gonna get here, but might get better lighting. Let's see. No focus. Maybe I'm zoomed in too much. There we go. So the gold is still reacting. I don't know what it's gonna do. And then here's the other one. It seems to have simmered down a bit. You see that luminescence that's on the surface? I'm wondering if that carries through. Should be interesting. All right, so I'm gonna put the colors at the end of the video. I don't know if I mentioned that before. And so look for that. And tomorrow I'll post a picture. Is that white gold coming up more? It seemed like it was overtaking the white or the uh, the pink there in the middle. I think it is, huh? This should be interesting. Okay. Anyway, sorry, I got distracted by the <laughs> by the colors. Um, I'll put the colors at the end of the video, and I'll do a quickie video when I pull these out of the mold. So, cross your fingers. Hopefully, this comes out later. Hey everyone, it's the next day. These are cured and it's time to pop them out. So it is tempting to do it a little early, but I'm going to try and do this on camera. So what I recommend with any kind of mold removal is you go through and you gradually separate it on all the sides. This sucker is like ready to come out. And then just push it through slowly. All right. So it does look like it does go into the resin quite well. Let's see if I can bring it a little closer here. However, let's see. Get a little bit of the edge there. You can see it does go down a little bit on its own. There's little bitty areas, tiny, tiny areas where it tries to drip down. But for the most part, it stays on the surface. So we know if you were looking for the technique where it drips down and pushes it into it and leaves little tentacles, this does not work for that. However, it does still work within resin, meaning you're able to uh, apply the alcohol ink. So that much we know. So on with the next one. So the last time I tried another type of medium with in combination with the pinata inks, it didn't work out. It was actually, it was a tint. And up here, I mean, my fingers would not have come off dry. It was a nice juicy mess. So this area is here is dry it feels like it's cured 
It doesn't feel like there's any kind of problem whatsoever. There's a little bit of a chalky almost like feel on the white, but the color of the area is nice and smooth. I don't know if I can get, the reflection can probably show the chalky area a little bit there. So let's try this out and see how this works. And again, we're going to just gradually kind of peel it up. And they, again, it wants to come out. So I'm not quite at a full 24 hour cure. You can see that this is a, a little bit on the soft side. You can, I could mold it to something if I wanted to. So let's see. It looks like it tried to go down in. And there is some effects that are going on there. Does it do as well as just using straight pinata inks? No, but it definitely was trying. So, to be honest with you, maybe in combination with it, with pinata inks, meaning use some of the uh, resin art and some of the pinata might prove off a really nice, successful thing. Okay. So, good experiment, I think. Let's see. The gold didn't stay on the surface like the gold does with the pinata inks. So, the gold did get incorporated. Um, hang on. I literally have this under the camera. Let me pull this out so I can get a good look at it. Okay, so these little white dots here, that is the white pinata ink that has come to the bottom of it. It's still smooth. It's not chalky like the other side. But um, it does look like a lot of the color is still mostly on the back area there. Um, it hasn't lost the luster, but the luster stayed on the back. So... Good experiment, and thanks for hanging on. Bye.